wire up a switch for steering and we're gonna use a 4 P D T switch and it's from when I wired up this pedal here you might have seen the video and if you have you already know how to wire up this switch here and it's basically just a stereo it's so that the guitar can come in here and come out here these two jacks will then go to each of their own amp uh, or whatever you're gonna do with it it's actually a lot simpler than you might think it is and so in this video I'm gonna show you how I did it but again if you've already seen the video from Monday when I wired up this pedal then you don't need to see this because you've already seen this clip of me wiring it up but if you just want to know how to wire one of these switches up then you can watch this right now and you don't have to care about what is actually going on in this pedal it's just the switch part there is the LED here are the two outputs one up there I hope you can see it it's right there and one down here and then we have the input right there if it feels like it's wrong it's because you have to think about it being flipped around so this side will be this side once it's turned over you know like so the only thing I haven't put in is what's going right here and I'm gonna show it to you real quick here it is this is the switch for this pedal and this is a 4p DT switch okay and it basically stands for four pull and double throw that means two clicks you can be pulled from one side or another and four is just how many switches there are so I hope that makes sense you can see it's the same thing basically as the one we always use which is a 3 PDT except it has an extra row and that's because we're gonna have two rows for the out and we're gonna wire it up in a second first I'm gonna just take this switch unscrew these and put it into that hole there so it's in place okay so let's start putting this switch in I have already put one from the input jack the one up here I've already put that in to the middle leg right there and now I'm gonna first start off with the first wire that is gonna be connecting to the upper jack the one up in the first corner if you want to you can also use a stereo jack and just put one of these to the left and the other one to the right and so the first one is getting connected here to this uh, leg right there the next one is getting connected to this leg right here so the green one I'm pulling over here and connecting here to this one and the other one I'm gonna pull through under here and up to this jack and connect to the lead right there like so perfectly connected that means that this switch now has both these two wires in the middle going to each jack just like this one one row for each jack in out and out and one jack can be the left and one can be the right okay so you see this weird uh, little cable that I have here it's really strange because it's super long on one side and uneven in its shape I'm gonna take this leg here put it into this leg right here I'll come in with my snippers and just take off the little bit that is sticking out and then I'm gonna fiddle with this cable here and it's super hard to do but I'm gonna press it in here through this leg pull it through like so and now we can solder it in place and then you can see that little excess that hangs out we're just gonna cut that off and now this means so I just explain what I've done that the guitar will come in here and go down here and go up here and be connected to these two and that means be connected to these two so when you bypass you can use both these jacks that these two cables are connected to and then we're gonna wire up the boards up here so when you press it down your signal goes up here and goes to the boards and come down to here you know the drill by now hopefully this one gets connected here and then pulled over here tucked under like so and pulled here and then pushed into the first leg here like so and sorted in place as well next part is taking this 
lead wire from the LED and putting it in here into this middle leg right here can be a little bit fiddly but with a great lot of patience and even more solder you will get it there eventually like so there it is now neatly tucked in like so and then i'm taking a resistor this is a 1k resistor you don't have to use a 1k if you don't want to you can use for example a 3.3 or a 2.2 you do uh, whichever one you like and that is going to get connected to a wire and put into the dc but we'll put the first out into this one that means that this first part of the pedal here will go to this yellow jack up here and then we take the other one and we put it in here to this leg right there again just in case someone is having issues we will have wires here that goes to the pedals input and they will come back out here and this one will be connected to the green one and this blue one here will be connected to the yellow one come out through the jigs okay so that's the end of the first board and both pedals or whatever you want to call it both sides maybe you want to say that will have an in so you'll have to do this to both sides so on the end we're going to connect an input just like so there we have the wire and i'm pulling it like so down here they are going to meet up so this one is getting pulled there and here comes the wire from the other input and first off we're going to pre-tin this wire and then we're going to put these two wires together it's going to be harder than you might think but it's also going to be easier than you think which if that confuses you good keeps you on your toe and this first leg here that's where we're gonna put them in both of them so I know this looks confusing but basically your guitar comes in here if bypassed it will go here be connected to both of these go up here go to the two jacks but if you press it down it will go up here two cables go to both the first boards then come back down here and the first board will go to this one and the second board will go to this one and they will both be connected down here to these two and go to separate jacks and there you have it so that's the end of this video i hope you liked it let me know in the comments below and if you have any questions, uh, you can talk to me there. If you're new here, don't forget to press the like and the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell for notifications. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. Until next time, stay awesome and cool and go and wire something up in stereo and make awesome and fantastic music and just have a lot of fun. That's the most important part. Have fun and play guitar.